could you not be smiling? That was the second multi-homer game of the season for Derek Hall, who joins us now from Philadelphia. Uh, first off, my friend, thank you so much for joining us. And secondly, uh, is there any extra pressure to mash in a clubhouse with Harper, Schwarber, and Castellanos in it? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to keep up with them. <laughs> they swing the bat so well. You know, I, I, I get up there and just try to keep up with what they're doing. And, you know, they're great leaders and, and they, they work really hard. And, you know, it, it makes me want to be, be better and, and play alongside them. And I, I, this is X here. I just got a question for you. I know for me, as a young player coming up, one of the biggest adjustments for me was trying to continue swinging for power, driving the baseball once I got to the big leagues. Uh, I'm wondering for you, how's that adjustment been? It seems like it hasn't been an issue as you've continued to mash the baseball, but what's that adjustment been like since being in the big leagues? Uh, just kind of being aware of like what they're trying to do to me um, and not losing what I did to get here, you know? Um, when I was in the minor leagues, uh, especially this last year, I learned how to, uh, you know, hit the ball closer to me and and be able to drive it for power. And that's that's always my goal here too is is to get a ball I can handle, and and put a good swing on it. Um, I think uh, just being aware of you know getting the ball in the zone here, and I know if they if I chase balls out of the zone, they're going to expand on me. So just making sure I'm swinging at good pitches and taking my A swing. D Hall, what's up, bro? This is Keith McPherson here. So we all know you can hit, but what people might not know is you were a two-way player in college. So have you talked to the Phillies about stepping on the mound, maybe letting you be a little Shohei Otani? Yes. Oh, man, I've, I've been harping on every manager I've ever had <laughs> since I got in the pro ball about getting me back up there, and they will not do it. You know, but uh, no, I, I, I love pitching. It was so much fun. I was I was like the Walmart Otani back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Great value, great value, Shohei Ohtani. That's right. Yeah. What was your signature pitch? Uh oh, uh, my changeup. Oh, I, uh, I, it was my best quote-unquote analytical pitch. Um, it had like the perfect spin. Um, I could throw it as hard as I wanted, and it would be like 73. Like it came, it came out of my fingers good. So Fire. like, but the hand, the hand speed is what got uh, what got guys out. Oh, you're still making a case for yourself. I like that. Okay. <laughs> you're like, just in yeah, case anybody's watching. Yeah, the slider might roll in there these days, but uh, I can still get up there and throw that change up. Also, it's a. Uh, I don't. It's not D Hall. It's Long Ball Hall. You got to get with the. You got to get with the nickname. She's the Philly native. She knows. All right. It's been quite a journey for you to get to this point. You were a career minor leaguer. So okay, take us back. Was there ever a point in six years in the minors that you thought it's not going to work out? It's not going to be worth it. And sort of how did you get through that? And who helped you get through that? Well, I think. Um, just having the opportunity to play every day in the minor leagues helped a lot. You know, that made, that kind of allowed me to believe that the Phillies believed in me. And I also knew what I had too. I knew as soon as I kind of figured out some things mechanically, um, I had the power to do it and I had the hand-eye coordination. I just, I had some swing flaws coming through um, that I had to work on. Um, I had to learn how to shorten my swing uh, to be able to handle multiple zones in the, in the strike zone. And um, I actually became very aware of what I needed to fix in 2021 um, that led me to this year. And I, I spent a lot of time on it in the off season and was able to really have it come out this year. Oh, I love that for you. There are a lot of benefits of playing in Philly. Obviously, you have that coaching staff and your teammates around you in the lineup protection, of course, the food. But let's talk about the mascot for a second. I was just telling you I was out there throwing out the first pitch. I'm going to talk about that like until the end of the season because it was so much fun. But I went on a, you know, kind of like pseudo date with the fanatic. I mean, is there a better <laughs> mascot than the Philly fanatic? And have you had any interactions with him? Oh, the fanatic's awesome. I think he captures the energy of the city. You know, he's he's got a great sense of humor. He brings a lot of energy. I mean, it, he's fun to watch. Like, I, I have trouble sometimes in the dugout when he's doing his thing. I'm over here watching him. <laughs> right? You know, <laughs> I, I'll be, you know, sometimes even on the field, I'm, I'm looking up in the stands looking for the fanatic. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Derek, you spoke about the energy of the city, man. We understand how important it is for these fans to, to kind of get that postseason berth. Um, how badly do you guys want to be able to give that to them? Oh, I, I mean, we get post or postseason energy right now. So I can't even yeah. imagine what this city is going to be like in the actual postseason. 
we want to give it they want it we want to give it to them we're doing everything we can but like i i i don't know if the just the chills and the, the thrill of these fans um in the postseason i couldn't even imagine it'd be an experience i would never forget in my entire life it'd probably be the best fan experience i've ever had so i know everybody in that clubhouse is pulling pulling for them um and we're trying to get there with everything we got and I, I really can't wait to see it. <laughs> Philly's obviously amazing, but has there been a specific city that you've been to now uh, that you've really enjoyed o over all the other cities and, and why? Uh, I thought St. Louis was really cool. You know, mm. St. Louis is a baseball town. Um, I really like the park. Um, I, uh, I just thought it was cool, like the feel of it. Um, you know, obviously being there with uh, Albert Pujols in, yeah. in his last season. I, I thought that was very memorable, mm -hmm. and uh, I really enjoyed that city. That's cool. Already some really special moments uh, throughout the course of your career. Listen, Long Ball Hall, we appreciate you <laughs> joining us from the equipment room. Uh, that was actually a very good place to do it because there's air conditioning, right? Like at this time Absolutely. of the year. Absolutely. And you always got to be close with the equipment yeah, guy. It's, it is so hot out there right now. It is I'm absolutely brutal. Six bottles of water before the game. Good, please. Yeah, go hydrate. Stay hydrated. Go <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Best of luck tonight. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it.